Hello, monsters around here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and but f 5? Hang on. Hang on. Um, is it part? It's part 5. It is part 5. Do we have any name suggestions? Oh shit, we do. Nibbler. Bob. Older than dirt as well. Okay, well. King of Darkness. Well, we'll def definitely keep that in in our cat now last time we had the poll the poll was should we should we receive our blood smooches or should we spend 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 we're gonna save we're gonna we're gonna cap out the old strigoi uh because that is gonna get what does that give us <laughs> what does that give us uh campaign movement range was it nope we got we got that already uh stalk oh yeah stalk for all armies in our own territory which is pretty legit especially with vlad because then we can vanguard deploy and stalk holy shit that's that's uh Whew, that's rough. It's rough if you're fighting him in his own territory, isn't it? Jeez. Anywho, we are going to... So, Bally Disguise Werewolf's doing all right. We've only got two armies. Uh, money's not great. But we do have... We, You know, we're getting by with a little help from our friends. Our friends are Kimla and uh, Luon. The, the dynamic duo, as I like to call them. One smells slightly of we, and the other's Kemla. Who also smells quite strongly of we. They both do. It's a, it's a thing. It's like a thing they've got in common, which is, I guess, nice. In some respects. I'll tell you what I would like to do is, like, vassal... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, that can't be good. Oh, Hank's back. Hank! Hank, you're back. Guess who's back. Back again. Hank is back. Tell the friends. Okay, Vlad, you're coming. Wait, did I have a plan? Maybe. Uh, probably not. <laughs> when do I have a plan? <laughs> I never have a plan. It's just not in my wheelhouse. Do I, I do like pots. I do love a pot. Oh, it provides garrison. Provides skeleton, spearmen, and fell bats, all of which love pots. Perhaps there's some spirit trapped within, burning in abject agony every time the kilns are lit. You just have a normal one. You could just literally just have a normal kiln. That would be fine. Um, but we will go with pots because I need the cash. Especially because now I'm bordered by uh, Kazakarak, who probably don't like me. You are fine. This is, no, that's not good. What about you guys? You don't like me, do you? No, no. Well, I am busy. What do you want? Well, the great orthodoxy is basically dead they're over there not much of a threat we could we could declare war on elspeth i'm kind of tempted i think we should after maybe we we not beat possible. off nicholas who has somehow managed to acquire an entire army of regiments of renown and special units it's a very ballsy maneuver never mind gaspards I was, I was looking for people to shank wasn't i, I was, sorry smooch Smoochy, smoochy. Can't find the fuck is that? It was like a little, it's a little, little thing. Um, they did, they did update the old world map, didn't they? Um, which looks really nice. Like it's, but well, it doesn't look nice. That's the problem. It looks very bland. What makes what makes this map good is the fact that there's like all of these little bits and pieces like scattered around that just make it look nice. And the problem with the old world map is that that just doesn't exist, and it looks very, very plain without them. I mean, it's a huge undertaking and, a, a, you know, a huge amount of work. And it's really cool that people are out there doing it. I just think, you just is there any way you could just add some doodads to the map? Just just a little bit. Yeah? Just a thought. Where are you? Are you making these guys... Oh, okay. are, we, are we taxing everyone? Are oh, we not taxing everyone? Uh, not taxing Axe Blight Pass, but that's... With good reason. Like, well, we are taxing them. They're just not making any money. We're not taxing you. We could tax you. It's 166. It's not going to change my life. But it's something. Do we... Oh, we do have some grave guard hits. We could replace some skeletons. Let's face it. Kind of us. We can afford one skeleton. I mean... Could have gone with more skeletons. Wait. Was there only the one Skellington? 
Oh, I see. So I can only afford them. Right, yeah, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. What about these guys? Corone. Uh, oh, I could get some Knights Errant. I mean, they're shit, but I could get them. We're not going to. We are instead going to take Nuln. What's this? It's the Blood Keep. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, it does unlock recruitment of Blood Knights. I'm assuming it's like a tier, tier 5 thing. So, Elspeth is kind of fucked, I think. We're not currently at one. I'm concerned about dwarf activity in the general vicinity. Okay, we're going to move over here. Yes. Let's um, let's give it one more turn and then we'll hit Elspeth. Yes, Luon. Oh, Luon, no. We had something there. Luon, what's going on, mate? God damn it. God fucking damn it. <sighs> you son of a bitch. I thought I had a mod that stopped that. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to go and kill him then. No, actually, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, we'll go and, we'll go and, we'll go and kill him. Uh, do I want to trespass through your lands? No, I'm just gonna, just gonna ignore you. God, god damn it. Uh, does increasing cover all buildings, could do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Also, I've got you here as well. Oh, Grumberg. Is Grumberg okay? Probably not. I am invincible. Uh, Gaspard. You can learn to wound people, please. Oh, hello. Yes. Give me a smooch. Impossible. Nope. Doesn't, not like the bony. Doesn't like him bony. Yes. What about Hank? Oh, there's one gun. Hello. You're you're too much. You're too much. You're too expensive. You're too yeah. You're not a, you're not a cheap date. That's the problem. Never mind, Hank. We can try again. I mean, more hero action success chance would be nice because that would give me more chance of the old blood smooch. Smooch. Perfect. So this is what we need. Smooch. Oh, two for two. Look at that. Gaspard hates men. That's the problem when you take too many men out for dates, isn't it? Uh, right. So, uh, we've got got a Luon problem. Evidently, he didn't like me talking about him smelling of wee. That was... Um, we're going to lose Gromberg. These fuckers. I'm just like, fuck off. Go away. Leave me alone. He's just constantly harassing me. At least Altdorf is now so heavily defended that they ain't going to get in there. I mean, that they, they're not going to break that. They, they'd need a couple of stacks, at least, and they don't have that. So, we need 12 blood kisses. We've currently got four. That's not enough. But we're going we're gonna to work our way up. I've got some Play-Doh. It's basically the same thing. Could double back and deal with them, but frankly, I'm just kind of I'm kind of tired of it. They they can't take Altdorf, so I'll just go and grab this one, which I'm gonna, it's not going to be difficult. I, thirst. I might keep this. It does have big docks. I cannot lie. Unstoppable. Bow. Do I want mortal levy? Not really. Don't really care. Not really that bothered with that. Uh, so we've got these ones. That's all good. Don't really care about under this resurgent. Could get more melee defense. Mesmerizing aura. I'm going to get a mesmerizing aura. Also, I'm going to get some more ghouls. Ghouls just want to have fun. 
It's not that really fun. The thing is, I can't really do anything here because I've only got the one arm. Hello, Scrag. Well, I am happy to be received by the more. Thank you very much. Uh, much appreciated. I don't know who you're fighting. Who are you fighting? The Pirates of Sartosa and Clan Angrund. None of which are up here. I don't know where you're going. I don't know. I'm not. I'll level with you, Scrag. I'm not 100% sure where you're going there. Uh, but the best of luck to you. Okay, so we're going to kill Luon. Purge him. Potentially give all this stuff to Kemla as like, uh, can you please be big and strong and don't betray me? Pretty please. That would be grand. I'm half tempted to bring the bad guys werewolf to come and help us. The only problem is, I, I think as soon as I do, we'll probably end up at war. I kind of want this, don't I? What's, what the fuck is this? Knights of the Red Death. Holy shit. Those look super fucking metal. Only five grand. I'm going to get five grand from. Someone lend me five grand? 25% chance. It's not bad. Go for it, Hank. Go for it. Oh, I mean that. Yeah, that's fair. 23. No. It's okay. It was, it was always going to be... Going to be a long shot. Gifted musicians! Yay! Devourer of light. Got gifted musicians. Right, do I want Grungs in? I probably don't want Grungs in right now. I, 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 mm, how much of a... He's quite a tanky garrison. Okay, let's, let's weaken them. We'll take Grungs in. Because that shouldn't be particularly difficult. Uh, I will occupy... It's annoying. Uh, I should have got the mod where the vassals can't get away. I don't have any independence. I thought I had it, but evidently I do not. Uh, and some people disliked it when I got that mod last time. They're like, oh, the vassals should have a chance to break away. And I think, well... You know what? If the Total War Diplomacy was nuanced, yes, I could I could take, you know, if there was if there was give or take there, I could totally see your reasoning. But unfortunately, the Total War Diplomacy is completely fucking dog shit. So therefore, um, there's no point even trying to suggest that it's anything but complete dog shit. And uh, there's no point dicking about with it. You may as well just accept that it's dog shit. And uh, that, you know what, if you manage to vassalize someone, that's it. They're fucking stuck with you for the rest of the... If they're stupid enough to be vassalized, they fucking deserve it. Hello? Ever been with a bush? Oh my god, the bush bush rebuffed you. Big bush. What about Theodore? Oh, come on, guys. Big game? Damn. Playing hard to get. No, I don't want to spend money, actually, because if I save money, I can build the thing. Uh, in fact, I can probably build the thing next turn if I don't spend any more money. So I'm not going to spend any more money. Uh, Grung's in. I'm going to go with growth, but we're just going to sell that to Kemla next turn. That can belong to him, then. He has. He's like collecting the sets. To discuss, and thou art most... Hello, Wicket. Oh, you want a trade agreement? Yeah, please. As Hank's crossed with me because I've got a trade agreement with uh, Zhao Ming, which I'd completely forgotten about, to be honest, but he's super pissed about it. I don't know why, because he's nowhere near Zhao Ming, so I don't know why he's getting so fucking losing his rag about it, but apparently that's a, that's a major. This is what I meant about the Total War Diplomacy being dog shit. I thought Oberstry has refugees. Really? You came to the big spooky, the big spooky place. You're running for your life and you came to the big spooky place. I mean, it's it's a bold, a bold move. Oh shit, Luan's right there. Um, if I give you Grungzint, how much money would you give me? Thank you. Thank you. 
I'll take that. Take that. And I'm going to build myself a mausoleum of the Mad Count. Boom. And I'm also going to build myself some defences, because fuck knows I'm probably going to need them. Holy shit. A little bit of income generated. Um, You know what? This will give us more income for more buildings, which I'm kind of into. I'm kind of into that, because we do have the gold mine here and the main building. So this is making us 1,408, which again... Not huge, but for SFO feels feels pretty big. I I did overstretch myself somewhat just to get my hands on Altdorf. I still I still believe that was the right choice. I'm gonna build that one. I do want to grab the extra growth though when we can. Uh, but the dock, dock is big money. Big dock, big money, as they say, as the saying goes. Can you stab the bush? Yeah. Okay, what about you? You stab, but you're 64. You are 63. Oh, it's, oh two. Get two. Holy shit. So we're at six. We're halfway towards having stalk in our own territory, which I think is, is pretty fucking, fucking amazing. You might be wondering, hey, um, aren't those white kings? How are they blood smooching people? And yes, yes, I totally see where the confusion from com is coming from there. Um, but I think you'll find that actually when it's all said and done... What what's that green thing? Why is there a green thing? There's a luminescent green thing. Also, I've probably got quest battles to do as well, isn't there? There's a luminescent green thing and a quest. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where did you come from? The fuck? C the fuck? What the shit is this? Fucking Carl, that fucking guy. I fucking hate him so much. God. God damn it. Where are you? Bastard. Right, big ghoul action. We're gonna go hard for ghouls. Come here, you little. Come here, you little bastard. Fucking. It's very moist. Boggy, some might say. So, while our cavalry and non-sneaky units advance in the front, we have our ghouls. Unfortunately, what I haven't noticed is there's a unit of uh, handguns hiding in these trees here. So, I think I'm trying to be sneaky, but we get spotted. And uh, that kind of throws the plan out of the... I was trying to get them surrounded first before I moved in. And then obviously we're going to... But that didn't work out. So, we're now going to just charge across open ground to try and do as much damage as possible. Now, of course, they do have Carl, and they've also got uh, two enemy ca uh, Empire Captains. Slightly problematic. They've got Zinter's Reich's Guards, which the only thing we can really do about that is, is hit them with the ghouls. Oh, that's going to be a bad charge. Oh, that's, that's rough. That's rough. It's rough. It's rough, but we've managed to pin them down, and then with cavalry, Black Knights coming in from the rear, that means they won't be able to cycle charge us because they're too busy fighting on all fronts. Now, while we don't have much armor piercing here, we do have that lethal poison, so we'll eventually start just, like, just nibbling away at them. Meanwhile... Back of the Skies Werewolf goes in against the Empire Captain. On the left flank, the ghouls are making fairly short work of these Empire troops, ripping through them pretty easily. Backed up by some of those Black Knights. We're just going to ignore Carl for the moment because we can't do anything to him, so we may as well just pretend he's not here. We do have not two more units of skeletons in coming along with two units of two corpse carts, one with a lodestone, one with a balefire. I've lost my little side thing. Never mind, it's fine. We'll live without. Yeah. 
Now, these guys are Reichsguard Foot Knights, Imperial Foot. Which means they are quite tanky. I need to get my corpse carts over here because they will boost us up. They will give us some nice, nice extra bonuses. Unfortunately, I think we're going to lose the Crypt Horrors. They will start disintegrating. But otherwise, so far, so good. The enemy knights have been pinned down and are slowly being picked off one by one. You see, they're, they're, tr they're desperately trying to get out of them, but it's not working very well. Although the black knights probably will start to disintegrate soon. Black knights going in front of the charge. I think they've been... They're still, they're still fighting one guy, apparently, and that did reduce their charge bonus, but I wasn't paying attention. Never mind. So, the Imperial Foot are doing very well. They are absolutely hacking their way through our Skellingtons. We're just being supported there by the corpse carts. And I think the plan is we need to blob up. We need to blob up. But I also really should not have ignored this thing. The Wissenberg Welcomers are a, a war wagon grenade launcher, which is fucking amazing. Though that, that, that will be a nightmare to deal with. And in fact, this guy does rack up a lot of kills. Really should have focused, fired him down. Definitely shouldn't have let him live. Uh, should have killed him right away. Didn't realise he was... I thought it was just a normal war wagon, just with maybe better stats. I didn't realise he had a grenade launcher. So we've got these guys surrounded. Sir Grundle's defenders. Just better spearmen, really. And uh, more, more better spearmen over here. But I believe their stats are superior as they are holding on against uh, swathes... Of, of units over on that little blob there. We're just trying to pull everyone back, get the the spirit hosts. I thought these guys had pure armor piercing, but they don't, apparently, uh, which is completely different from every other ghost unit, but there we go. God, th this... Th these fuckers, the Imperial Foot, absolute nightmare to deal with. Jesus! They just don't die! Okay, we need to blob up. We just need to get everyone over here uh, to get into the aura of the corpse carts and uh, get those nice nice bonuses. This is going to go down to the wire. As you can see, uh, we do have more guys, but they've got Carl and a Bally Disguise Werewolf is not that, that high level yet. The enemy cavalry has been dealt with. We forced them off the battlefield, which is as good as wiping them out. So we have three units of ghouls now racing to join the rest of the battle. desperate bloody fight for survival we're trying to take out Carl as he's attacking one of the corpse carts if he takes out that corpse cart we could be in a lot of trouble unfortunately Carl taking a bit of damage there getting surrounded oof I think, I think, we, have the, I think we have the upper hand it's not too bad uh, the, the war wagon's currently just firing into the trees which is Thankfully not doing too much damage, but we also got some uh, Death Jacks, Empire Archers, probably trying to pick off the corpse car. They really want to kill that corpse car. I mean, it's not a bad strat, actually. And Carl is trying to get away. He does manage to make a break for it. I think he was trying to save the spearmen here. Unfortunately, they rout before he turns up. The units of ghouls returning to the fight, arriving just in time. Try and take out that Empire Captain. Get him, boys. Uh oh. Carl arrives and takes a huge chunk out of a Badly Disguised Werewolf. So we pile in the rest of the ghouls to try and save him. I cannot lose him. If he goes down, we're dead. 
Okay, Khan is surrounded by ghouls. Now, the ghouls won't do much damage, but they will so he tickle his health away. But that war wagon has arrived, and I'm starting to wonder why guys keep exploding. And it's because that fucking war wagon is now causing all kinds of issues. We're racing units. We need, we need, we need to kill Carl. We need to kill Carl. We need to kill, we need to kill him. He needs to die. The Empire captain needs to die. This, this thing ended the battle with like 250 kills. It was absolutely insane. It's just spraying me with grenades. And as soon as I realise what's going on, I, I just I send a bad disguised werewolf to try and kill it immediately. Because I'm like, oh my god, it's just shredding us. Absolutely. We're so densely packed here that it's just absolutely annihilating our units. It's doing so much damage. Unfortunately, we still need to fight our way past these ghosts. Fuck off. That's it. Punch the horse in the face. Fuck you. Right, done it. Okay, okay, okay. Just kill up. We, if we can finish off that, that right guard foot, Imperial foot has been a nightmare. They have, they're, they're down to 20 guys. They've just spent the entire battle just slowly dying. Uh, but not slowly enough. However, the, they only got, they've only got 16 guys left, and uh, 14 of them are these guys. They've got basically the Carl and Empire Captain, and these guys left. That's it. So, if we can, if we can kill off the Empire Captain, maybe we can, maybe we can get Carl to run away? Uh, but our units are starting to, to disintegrate. We're losing, we're lo oh, oh, he's wavering, he's wavering, he's afraid, he's afraid. Oh, just, just barely. Just fucking barely. That was so close. Easy. Admittedly, a lot of the ghouls died, but they were already dead, so. Aced it. Bloody aced it. Holy shit. Bandit size. Badly disguised werewolf. Just uh, best boy. Basically. Uh, we'll do something like that. I really would like to get a necromancer for this army. So he went all the way from... I mean, I guess he just marched. But fuck's sake. Right, I need to do something about Luon, don't I? Because if I don't, if I don't stop him, he'll be a problem. Yes. Well, I mean, we've, we've enslaved a little bit. What are you doing, Changeling? What is your what? What is this? What are you doing? Go away! Right. Okay. Well, I won't be able to get any siege equipment, so we'll just have to. Okay, what I did forget is that Luon has got that fucking crown. Which means that he's got a bunch of nasty abilities. However, Isabella has that really nasty Storm of Night ability, which we can use on flyers. So I'm going to hold off until Luon gets close. Uh, we've used the bats to intercept some... Uh, they'll disintegrate, but it's fine. I'm not, I'm not overly concerned about losing them. The VAR guys, on the other hand, I don't want to lose. Manuel is uh, is fighting the Paladin. I need to get Isabella over here to help as well. Get them together. And uh, yeah, Luan is using his abilities. Oh, that's going to sting. Mostly him, though. He managed to use it mostly on his guys. Is this desyncing? I don't think it is. But maybe? I don't know. Either way, uh, we've hit Luon with uh, the Storm of Night. And keeping an eye on this, because uh, I'm fairly sure I used it when he was flying. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Siege is desync, by the way, just FYI. Just in case you're wondering. Are we through the gate yet? No. 
I think it's desynced. I didn't think it would, because these towers don't change, but maybe the towers were upgraded. Fuck. Oh, well. So this desynced, basically. Shit. So this, this, anyone who hasn't heard me complain about this before, this is a bug that has been in this game for, I want to say about seven, seven, eight months now, whereby, uh, the replays don't don't bring the proper towers through so if a tower shot cannonballs in the actual battle any replay will only have them uh shoot arrows basically um so they're just basically level one towers compared to whatever level they should have been actually in the battle this is somewhat problematic because it means as soon as your siege replay starts it immediately desyncs um, I'd forgotten that like, forts are based on the level of the, the walls on the fort are based on the level of the fucking fort aren't they Bollocks. Bollocks. This is completely desynced. Fuck. Well, well, Isabella is is thankfully going to be able to take out Carl, not Carl, Luon, that's the one, with um, with a Storm of Night ability. Unfortunately, Vlad has now had to climb up the wall. We did, we took out the gate and charged inside, but because apparently we didn't take out the gate, so we're now sat outside, not doing anything because they can't get inside because all the come up. Although Vlad apparently is now fighting... Luon, which is in, an interesting change of events. See how this pans out. Unfortunately, my guys, my guys, there's that Storm of Night ability, which is really nice for me, anyway, uh, because it does 75 to 150 damage a second. It's really nasty, and Luon goes down. Crown or no crown, he's fucked. He got wrecked, son. Now, unfortunately, I'm probably going to lose this battle because my Blood Knights were fairly instrumental inside the wall. So you're just going to have to imagine that it was a really great fight. Fuck this bug. And frankly, fuck Creative Assembly for not fucking fixing it. Within... It's, it's been... It, it's been fucking... Over, it's been over seven months. How have they not fucking fixed this yet? How is this still a bug? It's genuinely unbelievable that this company cannot manage to fix a bug like this inside half a year. Really, it really pisses me off. Well, all I can say is thank goodness that Isabella had that bullshit ability. Uh, I, ju I just think this is... It's it's such a negative. That's the problem. All the You look at all these bonuses, you go, well, that's really nice. And you go, yeah, you're going to be at war with most of the world, though. That's such... It's such a negative. It's such a fucking negative that it's just not worth it. Unless you're a faction that actually wants... Like Beastmen, for example. They don't give a shit, right? Chaos Warriors probably don't give a shit. Those are the factions where you probably want to go, yeah, okay. But otherwise, the negatives are so so wild that I, I just don't think it's worth... That, that crown's just not worth it. It just gives you significantly more problems than it'll ever solve regrettably okay we'll grab a couple of you kind of want I do well mm, do I want the bats do I, I quite like the ghosties because the ghosties do have oh they're not I thought I thought they would be pure armor piercing they're not no oh, well in that case bullshit absolute bullshit um, but they do have that enfeebling attack. So you know what? I will I will grab a unit of them. Okay, what we'll do is we will give Fort Bergbras to Kembla. I'll probably give Marienberg to... What is this? Nemesis Crown Dig Site. I, fuck, I fucking found it, mate. You know, there's no point digging there. Also, why am I suddenly losing money? I think... Was I not doing well before? Now I'm losing all the money? Why am I losing all the money? I think I've got less units, so I'm not sure why I've got less money. I don't know. Money seems to go up and down. I genuinely have no idea why. 
vassal tribute? Why is wait? Why is it costing me money for vassals? <laughs> why is that costing me money? What the fuck? The von Garstein. Uh Cower before me. Okay. Interesting. Yes. We we are going we're, we're gonna see how that, that plays out. More vampire. I would like more vampires. Uh I'm gonna give you Beguile actually. Or do I want more vampires? Yeah, no, I'm gonna Right, get we're not gonna spend any money because for some reason we seem to be hemorrhaging cash thanks to the fact that we're giving money to our vassals, which doesn't sound like something I do but evidently might be is it because Luan broke away okay money's money's back to normal goods thank you thank you okay let's get this back Meanwhile, right, once, once once we get there, come on, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it, don't, don't go too far. Perfect. Right, then we're going to have to little chat with you. No, it's fine, Some. Thank you. Okay, you're super happy with me, so you're fine. We're going to make Kempner nice and big and strong so he can support some armies for us. Like this one. That's the dream. Okay, more money here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna spend some cash there. Do I want to upgrade anything here? I could get the fruit. A little bit extra. Yeah, go on. It's, it's gonna I'm gonna build this up because we do want do want the more vampire. Also, what scrag? What are you doing, mate? What is this? Are you run, are you running away from something? We did want to. Oh, you've got a forbidden rod built in. You've got an inbuilt forbidden rod. Interesting. I will not betray you. Yeah, I mean the the fact you said that yes. makes me suspicious. But okay, right. We'll get you in this army. Give you a little bit of magical support, which will be useful. Vlad's going to take Caron, which I will. I might actually give that to Kemla. I might just give Kemla Bretonia and let him deal with that. Feels like a Kemla problem. That's a Kemla problem. Yeah. Can we find anyone else to stab? We've... Oh, hello. Hang on. No, we've, we've run out of cash. No more date nights for you. Uh, more growth... Yes, please. We've got the growth here, haven't we? 191. Yeah, good. Good. Okay. Slightly concerned when Carl turned up, but we, we knocked Bally Disguise Werewolf, knocked that on the head. Good lad. That's what we'd like to see. And uh, obviously, Luon has thrown a spanner in the works by being a complete and utter knob. Should have really seen that coming, though. A tangled vine patch. I thirst. Okay, I'm assuming you have. The world will be mine. I'm assuming you. Oh, wait, I can just store it as well. Lovely. Want... Boom. Uh, yeah. So we'll probably just sell this to Kemla. And then I don't have to worry about it. Not in this world or the you still want to fight, don't you? You're still, you're still going for it. Don't want to keep Marienburg? I might lose it. We've got a little army sailing down here. This army's not going to be built up. We could recruit a stack here. Oh, we got the Red Duke. Did I vassalize Musulon? Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? I've completely forgotten about that. I had completely forgotten I'd done that. God, I'm a friggin' genius. It's 
so hard being me. Being so goddamn smart all the time. Genuinely, a drain on the old brain. Okay, you stay there. Money-wise, not too bad. We banish the crown. We are four away from getting getting stalk, which I do really want. On the other hand, how how often do I actually attack? In I'm usually I'm usually chasing armies around, not defending myself. Am I? Well, maybe. Uh, seduction of the means is going to give us more diplomatic relations, research rate, charm. Yeah, all that, all that stuff is good. No reason not to take that. All good, no bad. We'll get the court of blood, King of Darkness. and you can have a mesmerizing aura. It's mm, pretty beefy. I kind of want to make you into a real killy dude. But let's get mesmerizing aura. Do I want a I I could get a bat unless No, I can get a bat. We'll get a bat. What about you guys? Nope, no one. It's fine. We'll 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 get them next time. Probably not going to raise anyone, but could be could be wrong. Oh great, I've met high elves. I don't really want to meet high elves. What about you guys? Do you guys? You're not chill, are you? No, no that's very very not chill. You're not super not not super Kemler fan. Never mind. What? Can I? I can reach you. Well, I obviously want to I kill you. You need to die. So we'll, we'll run out here and kill you quickly. You may be able to reach. I don't know if you can actually reach us, but that, that's fine because we can we can jump you because you march, so you can fall over. <laughs> Just fell over. It's <laughs> funny as shit. Just kind of flopped. Okay, we'll go back. Uh, good. Oh, we're a kidnapper. That's nice. Do you want Karun? Do you have Karun? I don't really want it. I'll take Marienburg, and I might even buy Gorsal and uh, Eelheart off you. We've actually managed... Oh no, Grunberg did fall. Okay. At some point we may retake that. What do you want? We'll mull it over. I could, I could potentially just send him to take it, couldn't I? But his army's not very good, and if there is another army hanging around, he's going to get inside. I mean, the, the Empire's fucked, right? It's, it's just little, little bitty settlements all over the place that I just haven't knocked out. I'm going to, I'm going to go knock them out. How much money do we have? Oh, loads. In fact, let's, first, let's look at buildings. Can we do anything here? So we could get the Abyssal Wood, which isn't the worst choice. Temple Half needs this. We could get the Forester's Shack. And eventually, Ink has 100 income. It is wood as well. Um, I'm kind of tempted to get defences, but we could also get the Bale because that will increase income in adjacent provinces as well. Which does feel pretty good. So maybe we'll do that. And with any luck, this will give Kemla the impetus to sort of knock out what's left of Corone. Um, they do still like this. The, the Empire is is fucked, to be honest. I don't even know how to start patching it back together. Yes, nice. Good job. I don't really care about diplomatic relations with the Empire. So I don't really see the point again. Storm of Night, though, is genuinely really good. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I hate fighting vampires with flying units, because they do that they, they do that and it's so irritating. So fucking irritating when they do it.
Ooh, a lovely caravan. Okay, imminent rebellion in Avaheim. What's wrong with Avaheim? This time. You're just sad. Fucking. Fucking Avaheim. I'll tell you what. You know what? Rebel. Go on. Go on. Do it. Do it. See if I care. Come here and fuck you up. The ghouls. Do I send? Is do you think? Do we think Kemler's got this? No, he does not got this. I cannot trust him. I can't trust him with this. Can you imagine me trusting this fucking lunatic? It'd be insane. I'd have to be mad. I'd be dribbling, dribbling all over my toes. You guys, are, what the hell is this? Malevolent dryads with bows? What? No, you don't know that. Get out of here. It's ruining one of the best things about Drake the fact that she doesn't have bows. Yeah, that was probably not going to happen. Do I have enough, enough money for another go? Who could I stab? Anyone around? Who can I stab? Oh, hello. Loads of people. There's loads of people to stab here. Old smorgasbord. A smorgasbord of stabbable people. A tapas, if you like. A meze. Upkeep reduction for... Mm, eh, probably not going to use that. Uh, he loves me, so I'm just going to take a lance, because, going to be honest, I'm going to be getting plenty of lands over 12 chemists. He's going to be over the fucking moon. Boop. Yeah, we'll just occupy that one. Tell you what, if we knock this down and replace it with a military building, the AI really loves military buildings for some reason, don't know why. If we give them military buildings, they will love us. All right, you're going to rebel next to... Oh, no, you're happy now. <laughs> because of characters, apparently. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't understand you, Avaland. I don't, I don't get where you're coming from. Yeah, so this will give... A max rank, it gives income from all buildings 10% and income from all uh, buildings from adjacent provinces is increased as well. That's all very nice. Immoral... Immo sorry, not immoral tendency. Infamous. Infamy, infamy. They've all got it in for me. Feral rage. That's probably not good. Insatiable. Frenzy for dire walls. More speed. Okay. Transfuser. Cash replenishment rate is 20%. Enables bleed. Which does some damage. And recovery. Well, that's quite nice. Um... Will Will he Wilhelmina von Waldenhof? Yes. You're in. Spirit leech could be very useful. So I'll pop you in badly disguised werewolf's army. A little bit of backup for him. Then we've got the Red Duke, who unfortunately I don't think he's going to be able to deal with this with just skeletons. But once Vlad has knocked out Luon, taking him out, taking out the trash. Occam's, let's go Occam's Mind Razor. Oh yeah, I should probably do my quest battle, shouldn't I? I always forget about the quest battles. Grey Ward does increase your speed by 10. And you've already got 75 speed, which is pretty quick anyway. Uh, if we go for... Let's go for more melee attack, then. Court of Blood means we can have more vampires. More vampires means potentially more blood smooches. Although, we, we do have Henk running around here. Just kissing, kissing and telling. Okay, you can't. Only one date at a time. 
Let's increase your wound chance, though. Lovely. I mean, we're, we're almost at 12. So we could get another Strigoi Vampire. And that will give us the extra... So it gives us Ambush Success and Defense Chance, plus Stalk. It's all right, isn't it? Oh, it's Dragoi Ghoul Swarm. That's fun. Right, go straight for Leonessi. No, sleep to Leonessi. Dun, dun. Not, just get the fuck in there. Honestly, it's so hard. Just. Right, so we build a military building. Doesn't matter which one. The cheapest one, ideally. They're all the same, so we'll build a graveyard. Why not? Wow, Nakari's doing quite... Chaos is kind of running rampant a little bit, aren't they? So Carl's at war with a bunch of people. You... Oh, you're not actually at war with a bunch of people. So you've got a pity little... Set, you've got, oh, you've got, yes, that's actually a capital. Oh, that could be problematic. The last thing I want is... Stacks of Bretonians suddenly appearing what out of fucking nowhere. Need to, need to bolster Kemler a little bit. Is, is the, oh, oh, you've had a rebellion. <gasps> oh, well, 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 29% chance. Not great. Hank, 80% chance. That's a lot better. I'm not entirely sure why Hank, oh, that's because you stabbed someone last time, wasn't it? Which means, boom. So we've now got the stalk in our own territory, which is is pretty major. Uh, assuming if it ever comes up. <laughs> assuming that ever comes up. Are we spreading vampiric corruption in these? Uh, yes, but it's it's significantly. How much is it? Four. Okay, so it'll be perfectly balanced, as all things should be. I do think that corruption is significantly less effective and it's really hard to spread these days. Not well, that's what I'm trying to say. You're right, it is not possible. Uh, I can't reach you. I could go this way. I don't... Will you... What? Which direction are you going to go, sir? I have no idea. Okay, you get Beguile. And you get Occam's Mind Razor. Okay. So we can we can finish off. I would hmm. Who is there anyone who likes me? Let's have a quick look. Right, Baron Legion, yes. The Ogres, yes, although are pretty pretty fucked. Clan Scryer likes me. Make this quick fast, I'm we could we could do something do do a little bit there. It's quite potentially useful. Um, Clan Molderon. Ah, speak too slow. I poke stab things brain. Make talk speak quicker. Oh, two. That's that's going up. Don't like my treaty with these guys. Even though oof, you are pretty. Fun. What about if I just? What about if I cut you off? What about if I, how much money am I making from trade from them? Uh, 139. Right, that's not really worth it, is it? So. Right. When you speak to me, let's just cancel also. that. I'm not even sure when I got that. Um, but that should maybe make my relations a little bit better. Also, this this fucker. Where is he? There he is. There you are, you little bastards. Problem is, I don't know what you've got in your army. I need to I need to spot you, find out what you've got in your army, and then kill you. Okay, the poll for next time is gonna be we've done we've done Strigoi. Who's the next bloodline? Are we going Necrach, Lemian, Von Karstein, 
or Blood Dragon. Blood Dragon will give us Headhunter for all characters, which increase, uh, reduces melee defense for enemy characters. Uh, we would potentially get more control and access to Sylvanian crossbowmen, who are garbage. We may get more campaign line of sight. Nice. Or alternatively, miscast base chance, minus 15%. All good stuff. No, actually, all of those are pretty terrible. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the net crash is probably the best one. Mind you, these guys will eventually get get more blood knights from the raised dead, so that could be an option. Just 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 letting you know. Anyway, that's gonna be the poll for next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.